it's uh, Sean Sean here, the artist behind SeanSean.co, and I also do specials on eBay. Today I'm going to go to SF MoMA and see Rene Magritte, the surrealist artist from, I want to say 20s, 30s, so let me check it out. See you later. what it is. <laughs> So first you come in, it's kind of jarring. They have this really um, style he tried to take in after he got done with surrealism. He tried to take on all different, you know, non-surrealist style of work. And, you know, it really 
people I don't think it resonated with people and so later you'll see um, he reverts back in the 50s 60s back to his surrealist work which he was so well known for um, like the fire next to to um, the fire of a painting of a fire um, a window of a window you know window broken broken glass uh, and all this really interesting symbolic work you know a lot of work with roses he has like a bloody gun uh, later he evolves into the bowler hats which is really interesting that kind of became his trademark as far as long term what he was known for he actually did a self-portrait with a bowler hat on and then he has a, a picture of an apple in front so you don't really see his face so it's kind of a really funny tongue-in-cheek is this a self-portrait or not you know later in his life he kind of built does his bowler hat thing and that's where he really solidifies the style where he's known for the bowler hat which they took up in a film with Pierce Brosnan where he's stealing a, a painting and he's a famous um, he's a rich guy who wants to steal paintings on the side and you know he pretend, he pulls off kind of stealing the uh, one of the Marguerite it's kind of a fun movie another thing that's really interesting is later he kind of does uh, shapes um, like boulders yeah boulders faces um people as fish with a sailboat it's very interesting you're really trying to make you think what what he, what the intention is and one of the important things about surrealism is it really tries to make you think it's the first time pictures were put together to make you think it's um, actually a picture as a thought which before it kind of just portrayed a scene maybe it was stretched out maybe you know it's impressionistic whatever exaggerated but it never had the sense of images as a thought process which Magritte captures so well in surrealism you know combining things that really don't make sense and then what what is the meaning behind that image so that's truly I think what Magritte is going after and that's my take on the whole exhibition I'd recommend it you only got about a week left unfortunately I review this very late um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoy it thanks for checking this out it's not a pipe you know and obviously what he's referring to it's a pipe painting not a pipe even though it looks like a pipe obviously so it's kind of tongue-in-cheek so what I did is I took his image I reinformed it into I focused it on a more modern touch of my era which was I grew up there in the 80s and there was a huge crack epidemic and they always had these really cornball paintings like oh don't do drugs your brain on drugs and they would have this egg and they would drop it in a frying pan it was, it was pretty hilarious um, drugs does okay last time This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. And Reagan was against drugs. Obviously, they're shipping uh, so maybe uh, cocaine through the CIA to the Contra. So <laughs> anyway, you know, a little bit of a contradiction. So I took uh, this is not a pipe that Magritte did you know, back in the 20s, 30s. And I put it with a crack pipe. And in the background of this painting, it's in my political pop style. And this style, I have references to New York, the biggest cities hit by the crack epidemic. So I have New York, LA, and I use the kind of the baseball teams to represent that, as well as the active and grievance in Coca-Cola is still coca leaves, even though they've taken out the cocaine element, uh, they still use the raw ingredients. So there's no way to end the crack epidemic, really, if you're still selling coca leaves, which goes into crack legally um, to Coca-Cola, right? And then I have some of the major products like the Zippo lighter that you'd be probably popular to use. Um, the army used it. Yeah, and it's just kind of tongue in cheek and I have kind of this diamond pattern across. And I've already sold that painting, but yeah, that was my reference to Renee Magritte. Mm -hmm. 